Hello, everyone. And once again, this is Liz Shuri, your tax advisor and accountant. I just want to do quite a, uh, hopefully a few quick videos here um, just to bring more clarity um, to some of you that are not very understanding of what's happening with the CARE Act in certain aspects because there were, well, hundreds of pages uh, when the bill got actually signed by the president. And, uh, and well, not all of us, we have read all those pages, um, but I think just to make it a nutshell to help, this video is going to be about what does the CARE Act did really with the retirement accounts? What have they done to help, uh, you know, the, the, the population in regards to can you draw money and are you going to be taxed? Are you going to be penalized? So there's a lot of questions out there, which are very valid, by the way. So hopefully I can bring some clarity with this video. Um, again, I am going to be uh, sharing um, my screen with directly with one of the best websites that I consider you can ever get information, especially correct information. That's called, yes, the Internal Revenue Services. Um, so I will be sharing that link also in the box in the video. Or if you're listening to this through my podcast at the Tax Advisor Business Says podcast, then you'll be able to get a link there too, all right? Now, let's get jump in. So what has happened is that because of the situation, obviously the pandemic that we're going through and so much economical uh, turmoil happening all around, not only here for the U.S., but um, the situation is that some of you will have to draw money or you already have drawn money. Um, and number one is there's something that's called the coronavirus um, uh, distribution uh, waiver, okay? And that's something that you can talk to your tax, tax advisor or when eventually you take care of that next year. Uh, but the main thing is that they allow you to take up to $100,000. Let me repeat that, $100,000. And if you have a traditional IRA, if you have a SEPT, or if you have a SIMPLE, then what's going to happen is especially is that you're going to be able to pull those $10,000 and then you'll be able, it's not going to be tax-free. So don't, 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 don't be too excited about it. Nothing is tax-free, at least when it's in a traditional retirement. If you have a Roth, that's a separate thing completely, right? But with the traditional retirements, as we know, uh, you get the benefit up front, right? Uh, with the reduction of the taxes. But right now, you're going to be able to draw up to $100,000, and you're going to be able to um, this, actually do a, a rollover of your taxes for the next three years, okay? So again, you will have that period to be able to pay those taxes on that draw money that you've done. Another thing that I think is very important is that if you're under the age of 59 and a half, um, as you know, especially on a RRA, uh, if you pull any monies out of your accounts, usually they get you hit with a 10% penalty. Well, that's not going to happen either. That's going to be waived. So that's good news, right? Um, second, um, also when you draw money from very traditional accounts, especially big financial institutions, uh, what's going to happen is normally they have a requirement by by the by the government that they have to withheld twenty percent out of all the monies that you're taking out of your retirement. Well, that's going to be also waived. All right. So if you pull in, uh, you know, your full, you know, um, ten thousand dollars, you're going to pull your ten thousand dollars without having to worry about that penalty. All right. Now. Also, another thing that I think is very important is that if you are already, okay, if you're already uh, over the age of 70 and a half, uh, the law obviously requires you to start doing RMD, and that is retirement minimum distributions. Now, if you want to skip this year, you're allowed to do that, okay? So you're not going to get a hit with any strange penalties or anything. You can skip this month, this year, that way, if you really don't need it and, 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 and you have other sources of income, then by all means, you might not want to be, you know, pulling more money than what you truly have to use now. So you are able to, and you have a waiver for this year. So I repeat myself, for RMD, people who are retired over the age of 70 and a half, you're able to take that waiver and you can tell your tax, you know, professional, hey, don't, I don't want to do my RMD. I'm going to skip it for this year. 
All right, so you're entitled to that. Now, who's eligible for all this? All these, any, any plan under the retirement account are people who, number one, whether you, you had to draw money because, one, uh, you were laid off. Uh, perhaps uh, they, got re they reduced your hours of work. Uh, third, uh, you had to do care, um, uh, child care uh, while you were home because, as we know, most of the daycare places were closed, uh, again, due to the pandemic, right? So you were taking care of your children. You had to draw money to be able to support that. Now, what happens also in a situation that maybe you uh, you know, virtually uh, acquired the virus or, or a relative that lives with you. Those will be uh, uh, um, eligible uh, conditions that will make you fall under the waiver, okay? So it's very important um, that you understand that. And again, it's not tax-free. Eventually, you will have to pay taxes on that money. And any 